Peace family, it's Blood Brownsville. And this is a response to a inquiry in regards to the certificate of live birth versus the birth certificate. And there seems to be confusion as to which document you are supposed to be requesting and which document you are supposed to be getting authenticated. So let me give you the difference on both of them and do your own research. Don't believe nothing I say. But if you go to the lawdictionary.org, for those that do not possess their own uh, legal dictionaries or if they don't have access to legal dictionaries, a good source would be the law dictionary.org and that i believe is black's law second edition but if you go to black's law second edition and you look up still born s-t-i-l-l born stillborn that is a condition where a child is birthed you know at a hospital at home wherever and it doesn't live past a certain hour or a certain amount of time so or the baby's dead at birth so it's considered still born now there's another term which at the time i'm making this video i can't get it out in my head uh, what happens is there were laws put in place that if the child is born within the first six months of conception that that child has no rights and that child is pretty much considered, you know, dead for lack of words or lack of, um, lack of a way to put it in a better way. And that if the child lives long enough to rebut that presumption, then they will be entitled to their inheritance or whatever they, are entitled to. So I'll get that to you. But now, certificate of live birth, there are children that are not born in the hospital that do not have an official record, a certificate certifying that a live birth took place. So I came or started off with stillbirth to give you an idea that there a, a birth can happen, a birth can take place, but that doesn't mean that the child was born alive. So the certificate of live birth is a certification that yes, a birth took place, and yes, the child was alive at birth. So that is what the certificate of live birth is. And also, even a, a stillborn baby, they're not taking the, the stillborn's footprints unless it's born alive. If the baby is born deceased, they're not taking the footprints because it wasn't a live birth. If the baby was born alive, they will in fact take the footprints and get all the vital information in case the child makes it past a certain point, for like a six month mark or beyond. But that is that documentation that you get in the hospital. That is a record that the hospital makes at the time of birth. A certificate of live birth. They then put that information into their database and they create a birth certificate. That original record that is made, a certificate of live birth, turns into a birth certificate. So in some locales, and every jurisdiction is different, every state is different, some states you can actually receive a certificate of live birth. Other jurisdictions, you're only going to get a birth certificate. So depending on where you were born, depending on how you were born, depending on what record was created when you were born is what will determine what you're going to get. Now, if you look at the document that you receive, your, your birth certificate, you're going to see it's a photocopy put on bond paper, a photocopy of an actual record put on or produced on bond paper. All right. So there are people looking for the certificate of live birth. There are people looking for the birth certificate. The birth certificate alone is sufficient, as long as it has all the vital information that's on the page. Now, there's a long form and there's a short form. The long form will have the mother and father's 
uh, race, it would have their um, place of birth, it would have their, um, it would have a lot of information on the parents, as well as your information, the doctor's information, time of birth, blah, 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 blah. On the certificate, on the short form, it's only going to have the child's name, the mother's name, the date of birth, the time of birth. Very, very little information, all right? It's just a, a, a compressed version of the, the long form, all right? So I hope this helps. You, it depending on the jurisdiction of which you were birthed into, there may be a certificate of live birth available. Now, further information on that certificate of live birth, you can't use that certificate of live birth to try to get a passport. You can't use that certificate of live birth to get government uh, like you can't use it for identification, meaning you couldn't take it to the Department of Motor Vehicles and apply for uh, a license or different things. You would need the birth certificate. A lot of places do not honor that certificate of live birth. Okay, so I hope that helps. Hope that clarifies some things. And peace until the next inquiry. Peace.